Greetings, this is Father Michael with our Word of the Week. This week's word is story time. I have treasured memories growing up of having my parents, mostly my mom, reading stories before bed. The story of perhaps the lives of the saints or of a particular a passage in the Bible or even some other moral tale. And those stories, indeed, formed my life, my heart, in a way that gave me the sense that each one of us has a story to tell. When God creates us, he gives us, indeed, a particular identity, and we grow into that identity, and sharing that story can actually do what? Can actually help us to grow into his love. Well, we here at St. Dominic's, we have our own story, not the story of one particular person, but of this very place, this very church. And over the next two weeks, as we come to the end of our jubilee, we will tell that story in various ways. The first thing, when you're telling a story you need, is a storybook. <laughs> and we have produced a very handsome storybook, the story of St. Dominic, these last 150 years, all the way back into the 1870s. And this weekend, and at select masses, the next two weekends, this weekend and next, we'll be offering this book, and you can get it at office as well, uh, in order that you might come into the fullness of the story of St. Dominic's. Now, this weekend, we celebrate a particular moment in the life of this church. It certainly goes back to the very beginnings in 1873, when the first Dominican was sent to the West Coast, not from Mexico, not by way of mission, but directly from the Pope with two others, a Dominican who was to be the Archbishop and the Dominican who was to start the province, uh, Fathers uh, Alemany, the first bishop, and Father Villarosa, both Spanish Catalonians who came from ministering in Ohio, the East Coast Dominicans, and were sent here along with a Dominican sister. The three of them came. They ended in Benicia, or started in Benicia, but then very quickly expanded. And one of those first expansions was here to St. Dominic's. And so in 1873, not only did the church and the priory be established, but Mother Gomer, Mother Mary Gomer, who was uh, the first woman religious to establish a congregation in California, you ever ask the question, who were the first women religious in California to be established? You got it, the Dominicans <laughs> and the mission from uh, San Rafael. Uh, and we began a collaboration with them in this place here, both in Manisha and then following here in San Francisco, took shape. For us here in San Francisco in a particular way, though, this weekend marks the moment in which this church, St. Dominic's, was consecrated, was consecrated as a place of worship. After the 89 earthquake, it was thought that perhaps the church would not be able to be sustained as a safe place for worship. And the beautiful flying buttresses, which gave a medieval solution to a modern contemporary problem, allowed us to reopen the church. Father Martin Walsh and others during his pastorate raised the money, were able to put that plan in motion but the Archbishop, at the time Archbishop Quinn came, and on this weekend, in 1992, St. Dominic's was consecrated to be a dedicated place of worship. And you might ask yourself, aren't all churches consecrated? No. There's only a precious few that ever have the formal moment of consecration, oil and smeared on all the pillars and on the altar, other various rites to say, this land can never be used for anything except for prayer, for worship, the holy sacrifice of the Mass, and the prayer of the liturgy, the hours that make all time sacred. So within these pages, you'll find stories such as these uh, and others in a way that we're able to connect with this beautiful spiritual home that we have. For example, one thing to note, how do we know our church is consecrated? Well, if you look on the pillars, there are ensconced candles, and those candles are only 
in churches that are consecrated. They're the consecration candles, and we light them certainly on this weekend and on various weekends throughout the year when we have high occasions of celebration. I invite you then to pick up your own storybook. I invite you to connect with this place, St. Dominic's, a spiritual home for people for the last 150 years and a dwelling place for God in earth here in the heart of the city. Amen. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Please like, subscribe, comment, interact with us. Together here at St. Dominic's, we want to continue to radiate the joy of the gospel in the heart of the city. Shine with the Lord's love. Amen. Amen.